the Iroquois Chase will close day three of week one, and we've got a potential interesting race here. Because a potentially interesting race. We've got three more two furlongs on a pretty tight course with a lot of runners. Core Jonathan at top for Alex Cherry, Elvis Martin leading on Games Without Frontiers, Patrick Hogan, Langley Street, Graham Clutterbuck, San Pedro, Paddy, Vinny Gerard, Silent Voices, Graham Clutterbuck, Tayside Tiger, Matt Cooper, the lineup, Joshua Sutherland, Amanda, Matt Cooper, Baldiera, Ivor, David Robertson, Blossom World, David Hooley, Canton Wim, James Shea, Finding Alice, Martin Leadham, Lady Sharona, Alex Cherry, Mallorca Dream, David Hooley, Nightclubber Craig Beckwith, Nina Dimagoro, Padraig Hogan, Scally Owen, John Morgan, Secret Passageway, and Smell of Victory for Leon Van Renberg, Storky Dove for John Morgan, and the contract for Craig Beckwith. This could be carnage on this tight track, but we'll see what happens. I've got a funny feeling Craig Beckwith was won it last year. We're away and racing and heading towards the first. The track's wide enough to get them all in, and we'll see what happens as that. Front runner from last season, Elvis pulling for his head goes over the first in the lead. So Elvis in the lead, nose banded, and so that one and sets the pace to the race. He likes to set a good pace, does Elvis, so they're not going to hang around in this one. And he's already five or six clear of the cherry pair called Jonathan and Lady Sharona. You can see there's lots of different routes to go, and Jockey's got to know his way around. So let's hope the Jockey on the leader knows which route to take. Some of these, as you can see, are so wide, they're almost off the track, but they all get over that one as well. And Elvis has got the inside runner, has got the lead. Storky Dove has moved through into second. Then Lady Sharona, and after that one is Scalio in the lineup is next. What's a fall of it? It's Tayside Tiger. So Tayside Tiger has gone at that one. That's the rest of them. Stream over it, Elvis in the lead, Storky Dove and Scalio in second and third. Then comes the lineup and Lady Sharona after that one. With silent voices and nightclubber called Jonathan is next. Nightclub is quite handy to that one. From memory, seems to sit out the back quite early on and come through with a rattle. The grey is finding Alice. She's back for a fourth season, I think it is. As they get over the six. Started off as a six-year-old. Get over the next one, that's a big ditch. She actually finished second in the Cheltenham Gold Cup one year. Also won the Whitbread as well, so could be a bit on the sharp side for that, but a bit of a spin out. Storky Dove takes the lead then now from Elvis. Then comes Scally Owen in third. And the lineup is fourth, Nightclub is next, the rest are really tightly packed. Secret passageway just the back marker. They're passing the winning post then. And two more circuits off the track ahead of them. And Storky Dove is in the lead. Took him a while to get there with Elvis going off quickly as usual. But he's now settled down in second. They get over the next. Which they all get to the other side of okay. Langley Streak is the new back marker. That one was around last season as well. Storky Dove in front, Elvis is second, and the lineup third, Nightclubber is fourth, and Nina Dimiguro and the contract. Sharp turn this one, and then straight into a fence. Storky Dove over in the lead, mistake by Joshua Sutherland's horse there, the lineup hit it hard. Finding Alice has dropped to the back. Course is a little bit sharp for her as they get to the next the midway point in the jump in. And suddenly Storky Dove decides to step on the accelerator and has suddenly shot clear but didn't jump that one all that quickly and has suddenly come back to them again. Well, obviously in second, Nightclub is well placed in third, the lineup is four, then Nina Dimager after that one and Games Without Frontiers, then Silent Voices and Balladieri Ivor, then comes Counting Win, Scalio and a Mallorca Dream, San Pedro, Paddy and Amanda. With after that one, Secret Passageway and Blossom World, then Langley Streak, and up the inside, Smell of Victory is next, and the back two are Cord Jonathan, and finally the Grey finding out. Everyone Cord Jonathan's gone there, so Cord Jonathan is out. They take this next ditch, and they're all over that one, okay, except for Blossom World. Blossom World went in mid division there, out of sight of me, and has gone, so two quick fire fallers there. 
But it's Storky Dove over the next one in the lead. Elvis over it in second. Rest of them over it okay. Storky Dove is in front. Oh, Elvis in second. They pass the post again. One more circuit left. And then week one will be in the book. And it's Storky Dove in the lead. From Elvis in second. The lineup is third. Then the contract is fourth. Games without frontiers is moving into fifth. Then Scally Owen. Then comes Lady Sharona and Nina Demaguro. See them starting to make a bit of a forward move now. Looking towards the back. Surprised to see smell of victory the back marker as they get over the 18th. And Elvis has retaken the lead momentarily. Storky Dove though fighting back to get back in front again. Scally Owen is in third. Games without frontiers is next in the lineup. Someone up voices after that. Then the contract. Nightclub has lost his place as they begin to take this sharp looking turn and come down towards this next fence. There's still a lot of jumping to do and less than six furlongs to race. Over it they go and Elvis again jumped along. Alongside Storky Dove, Scally Owen back in third, then Games Without Frontiers is in fourth. The lineup and the contract, Silent Voices after that one. Then comes San Pedro Patty running on. This is the 20th of the 24, and over it they go. And now they're all suddenly coming to swamp the leader. And it's Games Without Frontiers who's gone on from Secret Passageway over the fourth last. Games Without Frontiers in the lead from Secret Passageway in second. Then comes the lineup and Storky Dove now looking a little bit one paced. Mallorca Dream is trying to run on. They've still got three to get over and it's secret passageway just in front of games without frontiers in second the lineup is in third then in fourth is mallorca dream difficult to see anything else coming out of the pack now as they race down towards this third last fence over it they go and it's secret passageway who lands in front secret passageway over the second last the big ditch is in the lead here comes mallorca dream though on the outside mallorca dream coming to challenge and also up the inside the lineup has got a dream run through as they take this turn into the straight and the final fence and the lineup snuck through on the inside. It's the lineup on the inside who's come through and suddenly gone three clear. Skips over it, gets away from it well. Trying to run is the contract, but it's going to be the lineup, I think, who's going to take this one. Stole it on that turn by sneaking up the inside, and the lineup takes it comfortably from in second place. A fast finishing, um, not in counting win. Nightclub and Scalio were also there or thereabouts as well. One or two of the others ran on forlornly at the end, really, without ever really getting a blow in. A difficult track to come from behind and on the lineup. Oh, the jockey should be getting a bit of a bonus there because he took the inside route, snuck up the inside, and suddenly found himself three or four lengths clear. Um, took it nicely. So the lineup wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Scally Owen for John Morgan was second. Counting Wim from James Shea was a fast finishing third. Nightclub also ran on well again for fourth for. Craig Beckwith and fifth was Secret Passageway for Leon Van Rensburg. That's it then, that's the week one in the book. We're back next week with the handicaps and maybe even the Hunters start as well. So if you've not had too good a start to the season, look forward to next week and I'm sure things will go a little bit better for you. See you all next week.